Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harriet. Today we are going to work on crocheting this pretty blue and brown brimmed rasta tam. I will not be using the blue and brown color, however, I will be using the rastafari colors. We will start with the green, then yellow, and then red, and finish it off with black. You don't need to use all those colors. If you want, you can just use one single color. You can use black, blue, red, whatever color you choose to use is fine. Okay, without much ado, let's go ahead and get started. You will need a USI hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. If you want a bigger tum, bigger than what I have here, you can go ahead and use a 6.5 millimeter hook, which will make it bigger. I wouldn't advise that only because the tum that you're seeing here is a mega tum, which means it holds dreadlocks up to 45 inches long, which is pretty long. So um, if you stick with me, you will have the perfect uh, mega dreadlocks tum that you could give for a gift or wear yourself or sell if you want to. All right, and I'm using a Red Hat Super Saver. I'm starting with the green. This is a putty green, which is also the Rastafarian green. Go ahead and start with a slip knot like that. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch in the beginning chain to join. and make a ring. Pick up the straggler and hold it together with a ring so that you can crochet around it. Chain three, one, two, three. Your chain three is going to act as your first stitch and we're only going to work with double crochet. Go ahead and crochet 15 in the ring. The chain through counting as your first so we need 14 more. That's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and 15. Slip stitch at the top of the chain 3 to close it. Go ahead and pull the straggler here to close the ring. This is what your work should look like. This is round 1. For round 2, chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Again, your chain 3 is going to act as your first stitch. Double crochet in the same stitch. So you have two. For this round, we will crochet two double crochets in each stitch for a total of 30. Go ahead and double crochet two double crochets in each stitch for a total of 30. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 are going to be right below your chain 3. There is a stitch right there, so don't neglect it. 29 and 30. 
slip stitch at the top of the chain three to close it and this is your round two this is what your work should look like round three chain three for round three you're going to work one double crochet in the first stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next so it's one and two one and two your chain three is your first double crochet right next to it you're going to crochet two double crochets one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch you're going to do this all around for a total of 45 stitches if you're a beginner be sure to count your stitches because it's very easy to miss one of the stitches and end up with less and on a particular row so for this row you should have a total of 45 stitches okay so go ahead and finish this row and I will meet you at the end of the row again you should have one double stitch and then two double stitches one double stitch and then two one and two like I said at the beginning you do not have to use the same threads as mine but if you do want the Rastafarian colors then go ahead and follow exactly what I'm doing because you will have a, a pretty great Rasta hat at the end of it you do not have to add a brim to it if you don't want to and just have a plain Rasta hat or tum again this is a mega tum it's for people with long dreadlocks measuring 35 to 45 inches if you're just starting to grow your dreadlocks you may want to make a medium or a small in which case I will tell you how to make it as we go along you don't have to complete this particular pattern okay I've reached at the end of my row three slip stitch at the top of your chain three and this is what your work should look like and row three row four chain three work one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch your chain one acts as your first double crochet and then two, second one and then two in the third so that you're working two and two one double crochet two double crochets and then two double crochets in the third stitch one double crochet in the first one double crochet in the second two double crochets in the third and this is going to be your pattern all around for this row for a total of 60 stitches okay one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the second stitch and two double crochets in the third go ahead and follow that pattern to the end of your row and that should give you a total of 60 stitches for round four go ahead and walk through I will meet you at the end of your row Okay, I think I, I missed a few stitches there okay so I have one and two and then I get two double crochets in this stitch I hope you can see this properly my lighting is not too good so bear with me
Again, if you are a beginner, please pay attention to your counting. It's very easy at the end of the row to miss a stitch or even as you go through the row. If you're not counting properly, you could miss a stitch. So pay attention to your stitches. I'm coming to the end of my row here in a bit. This is round four. Again, you should have 60 stitches for this round. I think I'm going to make two separate parts of this video only because I'm using my iPhone camera and if the video is too long then I cannot actually upload it without using my computer uh, which makes it a little slower. So we'll see how that works out. In the meantime just finish up your row. At the end of this row you should have a total of 60 stitches. And then slip stitch at the top of your chain three to close. This is what, what your work should look like. If you lay it down, it should actually lay down flat, just like that. It's not curving as yet. So this is, this is what it should look like when you lay down. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue. Row five, chain three. For this row, we are going to work one double crochet in each stitch for a total of 60. Starting with the very first row, as you can see, there is a stitch right next to your chain three. Do not skip that. If you're a beginner, it's very easy to skip it and then find your missing uh, a double crochet at the end. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, sorry about the noise in the background, my son, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight. I'm just going to move this over here. Forty nine and fifty. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, and sixty. Okay, that is round. Row 5, slip stitch at the top of your chain 3 to close. At this point, your work should actually have curved. This is what it looks like. More like a small ball. That's what your work should look like. That's the inside, and that's the back. Okay, for row 6, chain 3. For row 6 is an increased round. What you're going to do is double crochet in each of the first five stitches and then two double crochets in the sixth stitch. Your chain one counts as your first and then one, two, three, four, five, and then two double crochets in the six, one, and two. Again, double crochet in the first five and two double crochets in the six. That's going to be your pattern all the way around for a total of 70 stitches. Two, three, four, five, and then two double crochets in your sixth. One, two, three, four, five, and then two double crochets. So you should have now two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. So twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 5. Go ahead and work to the end of your row. You should have a total of 70 stitches and that's going to be the end of our increase. Pull that out. If you get to the end of your row before I get there, Go ahead and wait and I'll let you know what we're going to do for the rest of the rows going forward. I 
okay so I've gotten to the end of my row and I have a total of 70 stitches this is what your work should look like it should have expanded the base that's what the back looks like and this is the inside the straggler we will go ahead and use a dripping needle to go ahead and stitch it in except I'm not sure where I put mine we will come back to it later basically what you want to do is oh, there it is go ahead and thread your needle I like to do this so that I don't have to come back to it later when the term is complete because it's gonna be big so go ahead and stitch this in Make sure it's tight enough to close up the hole at the bottom. And I normally go around it twice to make sure it's completely tight and it won't come loose when uh, they wash it in the washing machine. And then kind of run the thread all around in. It goes round and round and round until I have a very small piece to cut off and this is just to make sure it's secure get your scissors and just nip that off and that's what it looks like so you can barely even see that there was a knot over there alright that is complete so we have one two three four five six rounds and we have a total of 70 stitches this is the end of using your green yarn and we're going to go ahead and cut that off and I'll set that aside we're going to go ahead and add the yellow as you can see I have not cut it all the way I still have my working side with a loop right there and I'll show you how to join in you're going to get the short end of the yellow thread and hold it towards the right hand and your working yarn is on your left and you're just going to hold it like that through that loop you're going to pull in the yellow and then at the back pull the green down tightly and that will give you the working yarn and keep the short end on the inside chain three and then tug on the yellow just slightly Okay. now we're going to use the yellow five rows of yellow we're going to work five rows of half double of oh, sorry of double crochets for 70 stitches all around no more increases we are done with the increases so we are working the body of the time right now so go ahead and double crochet in each stitch around making sure you keep with the 70 on each row and you're going to make five rows using the yellow and when you're done I will meet you right back here okay go ahead and work five rows using your yellow that will give you a total of 11 rows at the end of your five okay you're going to work double crochet in each stitch around for five rows increasing your term by five rows and at the end of it you should have a total of 11 rows I will meet you back here at the end of your five rows um, I'm probably not going away so <laughs> only because I do not want to stop this once I stop my video I'm going to have to start a whole new one which I probably should do because I've gone over 20 four minutes now and my iPhone will not actually upload it onto YouTube because it's um, a large file at this point so go ahead and work five rows with your yellow and if you're using a solid color like black blue or whatever color you have chosen go ahead and just build onto your term and work five extra rows of double crochets this is a pretty simple project it just takes a little longer because it's a very big term you can make a medium one by just reducing uh, the size I will be making a small 
in next week's project. I'm hoping that I'll have got me a camera that um, can do this a little better. In the meantime, anyway, this should help you make your own uh, raster term. This is also a great project for beginners because you're using only one uh, crochet stitch, which is the double crochet, and it, it builds up pretty quick. Um, it should take you about an hour um, if you're an advanced crocheter, an hour or less. It, it takes me about 55 minutes uh, to do this um, if I'm not being uh, interrupted by my son. Uh, but normally with him around, it takes me about an hour, an hour 15 to get one done. It should take you a shorter time if you're faster. Uh, for the beginner, don't worry about the time. It's probably going to take you a couple of hours to do it anyway, only because you're a beginner. But once you get the hang of it, it's a very simple and quick project. I've completed here my first row with a yellow and that gives me row seven. Again, go ahead and work five rows of the yellow. Don't forget your chain three acts as your first stitch, so don't forget to count it when you're counting. For beginners, that is something also that might throw you off because you might forget to count your chain three and find you have less at the end of the round and then try to increase it by adding an extra stitch and your work ends up increasing. You end up with an increased stitch instead of um, the, 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 the original 70 that you're supposed to be working. So remember to count your chain three at the beginning of each row. If you have chosen to use um, a plain or one color of yarn, you can actually work this in the continual round and it will probably work just as well. Once you're done with the increases, then you just go ahead and build onto your term without having to worry about changing colors. So you would work in the continual round. I'll probably show you how to do that in the next tutorial when I work on uh, a plain term. Someone has requested um, the medium dreadlocks term tutorial because she wants to make one herself for a loved one. So I promised I'll find time to work on that tutorial for her. So that's something to look forward to the next time around. Oh, it's tea time, so my family's going downstairs to have tea, so I will probably have to stop this here and uh, catch up with you guys at the end of your five rows. 
which means I'm going to have two separate videos. This is going to be part one. And then in part two, we will actually complete um, the term all together. Now, this, of course, is not including the brim. I think we will have to work a separate video for the brim. Uh, and Or if time permits, then we will go ahead and I'll go ahead and get it done within the next part. So go ahead and finish your second color. And uh, when you're done, we will go ahead and change colors again and work with red. If you are an advanced crochet, go ahead and start on your red if you want to. You will also work five rows of red. No increases. You're going to stick with the 70 all around and just change colors. Five rows of yellow, five rows of red. And then I'll meet you guys when we come back. Okay? This is what your work should look like. With your yellow, I have already done three and then six here. Okay? I will catch up with you guys later at the end.